And we do have some light lake effect snow currently moving through parts of upper Michigan. This is the high resolution radar and I'll put this into motion here and you can see we do have some snow. This is Marquette right here and we got a nice little batch of some lake effect snow. I don't expect this to add up to much tonight, but you can see from just to the east of Nagani down 553 towards Sands Township and even towards the airport. We do have some snow and we've had some light snow falling here at local three, but it really hasn't added up to much. Let's take a look at the winds here. We do have a wind that's starting to turn a little bit more northerly and that is helping out the lake effect snow process and we're going to have that northerly wind through tomorrow morning and even into tomorrow afternoon. But as we get to tomorrow afternoon, the lake effect snow process is pretty much going to wind on down. Temperatures right now in the 20s and 30s and as we look at our high temperatures today, pretty much in the same ballpark, 20s and 30s, 28 for Sawyer International, but check out Escanaba. We had a high temperature today of 35 degrees, 32 Manistique, and lower 30s for the Copper Country. Officially at the Weather Service today, we had a high temperature of 31. 14 was the low. Downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, 30 and 24 were the numbers. And as we look at three things to know here, temperatures are going to be above average here. And over the next couple of days, mainly Tuesday and Wednesday, so for the next two days, we are looking at more sunshine. I'm pleading with you, please get out and enjoy it because we got a good winter weather stretch coming in here where we're going to have more clouds than sun, snow chances, lake effect snow, and definitely what's going to keep you inside, I think, as we go into Friday and the weekend is going to be the bitter cold temperatures, and we're going to start to notice these colder changes by Thursday night. And in fact, here's your seven-day forecast here. Any lake effect snow is gone by Tuesday morning. We're looking at sunshine by Tuesday afternoon, and then Wednesday, sunshine. More clouds, though, I think, in the afternoon move in from the west. And then here is your weather going downhill starting Thursday, and then, as you can see, much colder temperatures as we go on the Friday and also the weekend. There's your Arctic air coming in here for Saturday and Sunday. Your UP community extended forecast coming up here in just a bit. All right, here's our future weather with our in-house computer model. You can see some lake effect snow through the rest of the night into tomorrow morning. Temperatures tonight, teens and 20s, coldest temperatures inland. And then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, look at that sunshine. Temperatures will be ranging from the 20s north with more of a northerly wind to the 30s closer to the Michigan Wisconsin border. Tomorrow night with partly cloudy and mostly clear skies, most of us end up in the teens, but there will be inline spots that do fall into the single digits. And then as we go on the Wednesday, you can see more clouds start to move in by the afternoon. Highs on Wednesday, 30s, perhaps taking a run at 40 degrees. And then as we move you into Thursday, here comes your snow, potentially some rain or a wintry mix as well. Highs on Thursday, once again, around 30 or the 30s. And then I just want to point you out Thursday night, look at Ironwood, 22 degrees. There's that colder air that does start to move on in and you can see some snow is continuing into Thursday evening. Here's the wrong range outlook taking you into Friday here. Just watch the colder air move on in as we go into Friday. Look at all this colder air by the weekend and into Sunday and then moving you into early next week here. You can see this colder Arctic air just lingers across the upper Midwest and upper Great Lakes region. Here's your UP community extended forecast. Marquette, Marquette County. We're looking at temperatures around 30 or the 20s for Tuesday, 30s for Wednesday and then we're looking at snow, perhaps rain or a wintry mix for Thursday with highs in the 30s and then turning colder. For the eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures around the 30 degree mark or staying in the 20s for Tuesday, 30s as we go into Wednesday, and then as we look at Thursday, snow, rain or a wintry mix before it turns colder for Friday. For Delta County and Escanaba, clouds and some sun for Tuesday and also Wednesday, highs in the 30s. Temperatures remain in the 30s for Thursday, turning colder on Friday. For the interior west, we're looking at temperatures that will be in the 30s Tuesday and Wednesday, 30s also for Thursday, and then here comes the colder changes as we go into Friday and also Saturday. Saturday's high only in the single digits, and then we're looking at the Keweenaw Peninsula here. Highs around 30 for Tuesday, 30s for Wednesday, and then around 30 or the 30s for Thursday, and then there's your much colder air coming in for Friday and Saturday. Becca? Thank you, Tom.